Just look at all of these people. Look at everybody here. Oh, and they're all staring at my poor pangolins. I mean, it's great that they're here, and it's great that they're going to get a lot of education about the pangolins, but it's not so great that my poor little pangolins are so stressed. They really get so stressed knowing that everybody can see them when they go out of their little burrows. So right now, Emily is fine, but when she comes back out, she's going to be like, oh my gosh, there's people, and they can see me. Ah! And then she just runs around in circles. I'm hoping if we add in even more plants, that might help. She does seem to adjust if we have like a lot of azalea bushes or something kind of hiding her. So we'll add in like some more over here and maybe that will help a little bit. And then like, oh, the banana palms would be so fun. I love the variety. Look at the leafy, there's vine curtains and now the light is going and I can't see the vine curtains. You guys, I had no idea there were vine curtains. Oh, that's so cool. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Come on. We're going to be putting down these vines and like decorating around our pangolins for sure. Oh, this is cute. So these are mangrove trees, but instead of putting it next to the water, I can use it like this to make a really clever little system to look like some bushes that can go up the sides of this hill. Nice. I like that. That's so cool. And the pangolins really do like to have tons and tons of cover. So I think they will be very happy if we add in a lot more plants. Just it's getting kind of, oh, and the nettle, yes. It's getting kind of hard to see them. Wisteria clusters, wisteria trunks. Ooh, wisteria trunks, oh my gosh. All right, we'll have to wait until it's a little bit more light to add more to our pangolins. But speaking of a little bit more light, did you guys know? that for a while now i've been holding out on all of us with the lanterns more lanterns just like the ones we ended up using for our little staff zone uh oh okay that's not good need a mechanic to fix that for sure but just like these cute little lanterns that we have here and here there are more lights that we can actually line along the paths to our pangolins and I want people to come and spend money when they see our pangolins. So I need to give that a little bit of thought. Also, I want to connect up these paths somehow. I'm not exactly sure, like, how to do that right. Does that make a path? Oh, geez. All right, maybe. Oh, yes! I don't know what I did, but that's exactly what I wanted to do. <laughs> Yay! All right. Well, I'll learn how to fix the paths eventually. But I do want people to come and like relax and not only donate to the pangolins, but learn a bit about them and also start giving us some money. And I want to add in the macaques, the Japanese macaques soon. Macaques even. Why do I always want to? Anyway, let's see. Some blueprints. And I want to make this really cute. I want the pangolins. Oh, the shrine is so cute. Oh, that's right. And we actually... <gasps> A nature scene! Look at how beautiful! I mean, if you could see. We can't see. Let's start there. I keep wondering, like, what should we do next, friends? Because there is so much to do. Well, we have our answer. I can't see. Let's focus on trying to see. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. Also, I can see that the, somehow the habitat is already chipped. Jeez! How did that happen? We literally just got this. All right, well, I hope people aren't tapping on the glass or something, because I'm about to tap on their heads if that's the case. Like, leave my pangolins alone. What are you people doing? Oh, sweet. These lights are so cool. Oh, they're so cool. I'm so happy with that. And look at the little lanterns that we can get. Oh, and we can hang them from <gasps> trees. Hang them from trees. Why didn't I think about that? Oh, that'd be so cool. Where's a cool tree that we could like hang some of the, oh, like this mangrove tree right here. What if we put it right here? I love how customizable everything is. Suddenly I'm just like, oh, I want to put a lantern in the tree and I can just do it. Oh, that's gorgeous. I can just, oh, you guys. Oh, every now and then Planet Zoo does something 
where I'm like, oh, I'm just gonna cry. <laughs> and I know that seems really extreme, but we can build the zoo of our dreams and then we can turn around and do our best to teach people about how amazing this world is, thanks to it. All right, where's our mechanic? There's high amounts of litter. We need our mechanic here. Is our mechanic, where's our staff? Mechanic resting, working, working. Mechanic leaf has no work zone. Is somebody on their way here? Oh geez, all of our stuff is falling apart. So I think all of our mechanics are like out and about and they're going to repair. They have to gather, I see, they have to gather the materials to repair. All right, we need to do some research, some serious research into fixing the power outputs and things because this is getting ridiculous. Also, my flamingos have been breeding and we haven't been able to keep up on that because it's been so busy. So yeah, oh my gosh, but look at those lanterns. I'm so happy about that. And the little lights we have already. And I need another mechanic to like come and fix this barrier. All right, I think that the moral of the story is I need another mechanic. So let's go ahead and hire one of you guys from the comment section of our previous video because you're literally keeping this place from falling apart on us. So I would like you all to welcome mechanic, merchanic, mechanic, there we go. A Brianna. So welcome mechanic A Brianna. Thank you so much for coming to fix this because this is kind of important that we don't have the exhibits fall apart. People are beginning to toss money in here. A plus people, A plus, very happy about that. I need to get more, uh, I need to get more from them actually. And I need to give them more too so that they feel like they can start learning more about the world. So I wanna get something to educate them. There's staff facilities. There's benches. Look at the cool benches. <gasps> oh, look at that little canopy, a little picnic canopy. And look at these benches that we could put down for people to relax on. What? This is so pretty. I love it. I really love it. Let's go ahead and put that here. And then we can add in different bins too. So let's go ahead. We'll just say that we have like a recycling program for everything. So we'll add in some bins scattered through our zoo so people will be sure to recycle. Yeah, we're starting to connect up the important things. Oh, look, and somebody was tired. He just straight up sat down. He was so relieved to have somewhere to sit. Huh. I could take a hint. Would you guys like more sit spots? I think they would like more sit spots. Nice. Well, we'll begin with some of these. Oh my gosh, people were tired. <laughs> they just wanted somewhere to sit. <laughs> wow. Wow, people wanted somewhere to sit. I had no idea that they would be that desperate. Um, noted, I guess. There we go. I'm gonna put a lot more sit spots around. <laughs> Uh, good to note. Good to note. All right. We'll even add an extra bench over here because it's not very much money and maybe it will really help people out. But let's get that education in here because I do want to make sure that the guests are getting educated when they come to visit. Where's education? Try viewing devices and speakers. Here we go. I want some great education about the animals that they are coming to see. Uh, does this little education board work yet? For some reason, it didn't work before for me. Yeah, I think this one is probably for the small exhibit. So let's do this big habitat info board. Put it here. And this is going to be about our Chinese pangolin. So now people can come and we'll have a little spot. Let's see. We'll have a little speaker here about the pangolin. And then let's actually have a little speaker hiding over Maybe under the table. <laughs> Why not? I'm going to put a speaker under the table. So while you are sitting and resting, you can be learning more about the pangolin, my friend. There we go. So it is hiding down there. How am I ever going to get it out of the ground? Who knows? There. Now we'll start getting some more knowledge about it going. 
I can even just go ahead and hide it behind some of these lovely, lovely ferns that people are going to be like, I can't see the pangolin now. And they'll be like, well, you can hear about it. All right, we'll cover this one up too. There. Oh, this is great. Hopefully this is a good sign that they'll really just enjoy our pangolin. Also, what the heck was that? Oh, jeez. I think this is like really, really, really broken. Where are our mechanics? Didn't I just hire another mechanic? Oh, I guess they have to go to a whole nother section since that one broke down. Gather their supplies and hoof it all the way back. I can't believe this. And then they have to wait their turn? Because there's not enough... Are you, are you good in here? Yeah, look, because he has to fix it. And he's researching. Oh, because they're researching so much stuff too. Oh, you guys. I need another mechanic shop. I need like a mechanic district at this point. All right, and we're going to start swapping out some of what we see back here. In fact, I need bigger mechanic areas. <gasps> That's a palace. What? I can have a palace? That's right, the nature. Oh my gosh. Look at how close we made our beautiful build. Oh, yes. Yes, I want this nature thing. Climbing up Panda Mountain. Are you kidding? This is so pretty. This is so cool because I built something somewhat like this. And then boom, we come in and find that there is like a pre-built. There we go. Let's get this down a little bit. And I've actually been thinking we should put something on top of Panda Mountain to encourage people to go up there, like a little a little info store. So I think we're going to go ahead and do that too. That's so pretty. Yes, being able to use blueprints changes everything. All right, speaking of blueprints, I'm going to go ahead and add in the info place while I'm thinking about it. So we can put down a small shop shell. And then you go ahead and stick that on top of a shop, I'm pretty sure. So let's come over. I want guest facilities. And I want the shell for the information center. And I want to line it up back here. So this is the shell. Then I'm going to grab the blueprint. And we are going to get... Where'd that go? Not the small toilet. The shop shell. And then you want to make sure, there we go, that you turn it just right and you line it up over the top of the shop. Let me slide down to make sure I'm in the right spot. And is that it? Okay, almost right there. Oh, so close. I was so close. Okay. I need to enter edit group mode. Oh boy. Okay, actually, let's do this. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Too much. <laughs> we'll always remember the day that we oh so, so carefully went ahead and built there. Looks pretty good to me. There's no power all the way out here, so it can't open because there's no power in the boondocks. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Okay, that's water treatment. The power. Where's my maps? Let's see. How far outside is it? It's just a little outside the power. So if I add another... If I add another power spot right over here somewhere, it will be inside. There. All right. That should be good. Okay. <laughs> now this should have some power and we need a vendor. So we need to hire a vendor to get in here, which is going to be one of you guys again. And they are going to sell. There we go. All right, here we go. And this is going to be Shrine Keeper Aisha. So Shrine Keeper Aisha, welcome. Welcome. You are going to be up here serving people information about our pandas. Information about the special panda shrines. And hopefully they will come and they will buy things from us. Uh, we're going to go ahead and like raise the prices of some of these a little bit. Like the umbrellas. Because, you know, you have to climb all the way up here. 
to get to it and we're going to raise the price of the expensive adoption pack because come on you're adopting pandas so it's going to be a little bit more there we go but the audio guide will go ahead and we'll just make like you know let's, let's trick five dollars there all right hopefully those prices aren't too outrageous and i'm really happy that we have a cute little like a cute cute little shop that people can come up to at Panda Shrine. Speaking of which, I need to check in on our pandas and make sure they're not having more pandas without me because I really don't get notified too often. Like, who are these flamingos? How many flamingos do I have now? How did this happen? The temperature? You guys are too cold. Well, you're right next to the cooler, you silly things. All right, I'll sell that for now. All right, they should be okay. They're just fussing because their food got put next to, like, where they're going to be nice and chilled. And how is our mom and baby panda set? An and Dada are still doing great. Look at the flamingo parade coming to roost in the panda cave at night. <laughs> Dada has grown up with flamingos watching over him his whole life and fussing at him to make room so that they could relax uh, in the desired spots. Oh... We're really making it come together. I like not the quickest, I know, but we're doing our best for learning as we go. And we need to try to give our penguins more shelter barricades, more places where they really feel like, oh, I'm not being observed by everybody right now. So I think I'm going to go ahead and actually give them like a physical, a physical barricade, maybe. Would that help? Like, can I give them just a tiny little barricade like this where they can just feel okay I can come out from here and take a minute before I have to be seen I'm wondering if that could help somehow and then we're gonna make it kind of small because they are small and then can I even put that barricade up a little bit so they could kind of have like the top of this little spot just to themselves. How do you feel about that, little one? Emily? Pancake? Which one are you? It's Emily! And she's feeling better now that she is here outside of where everybody can see her. Look at that. Her social's going up. Her stress is going down. I love how we have roots and we have some cool tree trunks, like, actually in here where she hangs out. <gasps> Look, and it's Pancake! He's over in the other burrow. Just snoozing away. Does he feel pretty safe? I think they feel good. So I think the way that we can make our pangolins feel fantastic is getting our hands on that one-way glass. Which means... Oof, why are these still not repaired? Mechanics are still being requested. Oh, I got sidetracked, didn't I? Yeah, look, because there's no... Okay, actually, better idea. Let's get another transformer. One transformer is just not going to cut it over here. So, let's go ahead and edit this barrier. We're going to remove these. We'll go ahead and spread this there we go and then we're gonna go ahead and just get a backup of this so that we don't have to worry about this problem happening again so okay let's flip 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 put it right over here and then get a staff path around the back okay and i think that's just how that's gonna have to go all right, that was not the elegant path that I wanted. Come on. Come on. Oh, no, you don't. Oh my gosh, putting it on paths can, is definitely a learning curve. No pun intended for all the curves. All right, here, we'll do it like this. Around the side. No, 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 no. No. Like so. There, okay. And then, oh no you don't. You go away. And, yeah, you go away. Aha! Haha! Success! Yeah, I couldn't wait any longer on whatever was going on. 
elsewhere, we needed to have a functional transformer. And it's kind of ridiculous how often these really fall apart. Hmm. I'm gonna look into trying to do something about that because it is kind of ridiculous. All right, and let's get this expanded and curved, please. And there's some leafy goodness to hide that. All right, now all of this is lit up. We should have people operating over here better. We should have our mechanics over here. The pangolins are gonna need to be well taken care of. And pancake stress is back up. So yeah, we needed that and we actually need, I think more mechanic huts because they can't do enough research. They don't have enough huts and I need to get bigger mechanic huts, I think, to make them more functional. Staff room. Probably more staff rooms so that my staff relaxes more, but we do need more workshops, don't we? So that we can actually get some progress done on our research. So I'm gonna put another workshop down here. It makes it a really cool look for our little like village of people. All right, what do we have going on now? This power source is failing. Why, are we demanding too much from it? I think I need to research more power sources, guys. Because this won't do. All right, hopefully that will work. Hey, somebody's visiting. Hello, friend. I've already greeted the maximum numbers of players to get the, the free, free money. All right, the vet research. Yes, pangolin and avian influenza research. Huzzah. You know what I think it is almost time for us to do? I think it is time for us to start adding in more animals. But you see how busy it gets. Let's, uh, let's research. Ulcerative stomachitis before we get some uh, ungulates. That would be a good idea. All right. I haven't even had time just to relax by our flamingo lake lately. No pun intended. Late, lately. You get it? <laughs> but we have a new shrine. Uh, our zoo has high amounts of litter. Our power sources are failing. Our water treatment is failing. Like this power source is failing too. I think I need to hire a lot more mechanics. <laughs> I think I need to quarantine one of our my mechanics here to just constantly keep these going. Uh, didn't expect that problem. Let's hire more mechanics then. All right, we need a hero. And the hero is actually going to be Fangirling Freak. So we're gonna go ahead and I guess this is gonna be Mechanic Freak, pardon us. And he's gonna be here and his only job, the only thing that we want him to do is to repair things. Like that's it. Just repair the facilities, repair the walls. And I'm also going to assign him to Pangolin Point. And hopefully, there we go. Fangirling Freak, AKA Mechanic Freak, you are our only hope. <laughs> I really hope we can start holding our zoo together because it has been falling apart. So, all right, guys, thank you so much for joining me and hopefully, like, just riding out all of the bumps of this adventure with me. I really do hope we can make our pangolins even happier. We should be able to start adding in some special enrichments for them next time. If you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.